go, Brandon. All right, friends, a lot of you guys have been contacting these senators on these anti-gun bills that are trying to push through and really giving them some heat and putting some pressure on them. It's definitely showing. Our boy John Cornyn from Texas, who fancies himself as a Second Amendment supporter, wound up at the Texas GOP thing, function, whatever you want to call it, in downtown Houston yesterday, <laughs> and was met with a pretty raucous surprise, something that I don't think he was expecting. <laughs> Guys, this is a clear-cut message that you're getting through to him. John Cornyn and all these other senators might be able to ignore the phone calls. They might be able to ignore the emails. They might be able to ignore everything else out there because they remain insulated. In other words, these people are egomaniacs. Whenever they start to get pushback, they insulate themselves from it. In other words, I don't need to see the phone calls. I don't want to see the emails. You guys have my response. You you have my normal response of, I support the Second Amendment. You got all that. So I, I don't need to see the numbers. And that's how they insulate themselves. Because they truly don't want to hear from their constituents. They're doing what they want to do, not what you want them to do. And whenever they waltz into these public events like this, they can't ignore what you're telling them. They cannot ignore what the message that you're sending to them. And this was loud and clear. Most of what you hear these people chanting is no red flag laws, no red flag laws. That's one of the main points that these people are upset about. And this man continues to try to push the fact that somehow or another there's due process involved and he is being called out on it to his face. Keep it up guys. Do not let off the pressure of people like Cornine. Get him out of there. Let him know he's out of there, but keep putting the pressure on him. Do it respectfully, do it professionally, but do it firmly. Let's go Brandon.